Ever wondered why your wallet feels lighter even before the month ends? No, it's not because of the leprechauns, it's the mysterious phenomenon known as money management, or more accurately, the lack thereof. Now let's talk turkey. We all need money, right? To pay the bills, buy that drool-worthy smartphone, or maybe just to splurge on a well-deserved vacation. But here's the catch. Money, unlike our love for pizza, is not unlimited. So how do we ensure we're not running on financial fumes by the end of the month? The answer is in two words. Personal finance management. Now you might be thinking, oh great, another boring lecture about budgeting and saving. But hold on to your horses. Personal finance management is more than just squirreling away every penny like a paranoid chipmunk, it's about making your money work for you. Think of it as your personal financial GPS. It helps you navigate from where you are now to where you want to be financially. We're talking about setting financial goals, creating a plan to achieve them, and tracking your progress. It's about understanding where your money goes, making informed decisions, and taking control of your financial future. It's the difference between letting your money fly away like a runaway balloon and directing it purposefully like a well-trained homing pigeon. And the best part? You don't need to be a Wall Street whiz to do it. With the right tools and a dash of discipline, anyone can master the art of personal finance management. So whether you're a college student surviving on ramen noodles, a fresh grad navigating your first job, or a seasoned professional looking to upgrade your financial game, this is for you. So, if you're tired of those sneaky leprechauns stealing your money, stick around. We're about to embark on a journey to reclaim your wallet, one dollar at a time. Personal finance management sounds like a fancy term from our economics textbooks, doesn't it? But trust me, it's not as complex as rocket science. So let's break it down, shall we? First off, let's get one thing straight. Personal finance management isn't just about managing money. It's like being the conductor of your own financial orchestra. You're in charge of harmonizing your income, savings, investments, and expenses. It's about setting the tempo for your financial goals and ensuring each instrument plays its part to create the symphony of your financial future. Now you might ask, why is this so important? Well, imagine going on road trip without a map. You might eventually reach your destination, but chances are you'll take several wrong turns, hit a few dead ends, and waste a lot of valuable time and fuel. Similarly, without effective personal finance management, you might eventually achieve your financial goals but you'll likely face unnecessary financial stress and setbacks along the way. But hey, don't let that intimidate you. Think of it as a game. It's about making strategic moves like saving a part of your income, investing wisely, cutting down unnecessary expenses, and planning for unforeseen circumstances. And just like any game, the more you play, the better you get at it. Now, managing your money isn't just about the here and now. It's also about planning for your future. Whether that's buying a house, starting a business, or even retiring on a beach somewhere, your financial decisions today will shape your future. So think of personal finance management as your magic crystal ball, giving you insight into your future and helping you make it a reality. So to sum it up, personal finance management is about more than just managing money. It's about setting financial goals, making strategic decisions, and planning for your future. It's about not just surviving but thriving in the world of finance. After all, as the saying goes, failing to plan is planning to fail. So, it's not just about counting coins, it's about making those coins count. And hey, if this video is helping you understand personal finance management better, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insights and guidance on managing your finances. Let's make those coins count together. Now don't start pulling out your calculators. Personal finance management isn't only about numbers, it's more like a dance. A delicate waltz between discipline, patience, and mindfulness. Yes, you heard it right. We're talking about the traits of a Zen master here, not a Wall Street whiz. Let's start with discipline. You can have all the spreadsheets in the world, but if you can't resist those shiny new shoes, they're as useful as a chocolate teapot. Discipline in finance is like sticking to a diet. It's about making choices that may not give immediate satisfaction, but will lead to long-term health. Or in this case, wealth. Patience. Oh sweet sweet patience. Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is a healthy bank account. Personal finance management is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about the slow and steady accumulation of wealth over time, not overnight riches. So, if you're looking for a get-rich-quick scheme, sorry to burst your bubble, but personal finance management isn't it. And finally, mindfulness. It's not just for yoga classes anymore. 
Being mindful of where your money goes, how you feel about it, and how it impacts your life is vital. It's like being on a financial diet, you wouldn't eat without thinking, would you? The same should apply to spending, so there you have it. The non-financial side of personal finance management. It's not about being a math genius or having a big paycheck, it's about discipline, patience, and mindfulness. And maybe a dash of humor? Because let's face it, who doesn't need a laugh when talking about money? Remember, it's not always about the size of your wallet but how you use it. Raise your hand if you've ever felt personally victimized by your own spending habits. Yeah, we've all been there. Navigating the choppy waters of personal finance can sometimes feel like wrestling with a slippery eel. One moment you're on top, the next, you're gasping for air while your budget slips through your fingers. It's a common challenge but remember, it's not about how many times you slip, it's about how quickly you get back up. Let's talk about a friend of mine, let's call him Jazz. Jazz was a bit of a spendthrift and he loved his jazz records. He had this little habit of splurging on every new vinyl that hit the stores. It wasn't long before Jazz found himself knee-deep in debt, but Jazz didn't let his love for music ruin his financial health. He took a step back and assessed his situation. He realized that he was spending far more than he was earning, so he made a plan. He started to budget, cutting back on his non-essential spending. Yes, that included those Jazz records he loved so much. Jazz started to save and slowly but surely, he began to see the light at the end of the debt tunnel. It wasn't easy but Jazz turned his financial life around. His triumph wasn't winning the lottery or inheriting a fortune, it was mastering the art of personal finance management. The truth is, we all have our jazz moments. We all face financial hurdles and sometimes we trip. But every stumble is a learning opportunity. It's a chance to reassess, to rethink and to bounce back stronger. So whether you're a jazz enthusiast drowning in vinyl debt, an impulsive online shopper with a cart full of regrets, or just someone who struggles to keep their finances in check, remember, you're not alone. And remember, there's always a way out. So next time your wallet tries to play tricks on you, you'll know exactly what to do. All right, enough chit chat, let's get down to business. How do we conquer this beast called personal finance management? First off, let's talk about planning. Think of it as your financial GPS. You need to know where you are right now, where you want to go, and how you'll get there. Your plan should be as unique as your fingerprint. It should reflect your lifestyle, your dreams, your quirks. Remember, it's not about fitting into a mold, it's about carving one that fits you. Next, let's dive into the world of budgeting. It's not about restricting your spending, it's about understanding where your money goes. It's like a financial diary, only less dramatic. It's about making your money work for you, not the other way around. And no, you don't need a fancy spreadsheet or a degree in rocket science to create a budget. A simple pen and paper will do. Now let's talk about an exciting part of personal finance management. Investing. If you think investing is just for the Wall Street whizzes, think again. Investing is about making your money multiply. It's the secret sauce to building wealth. But remember it's not a get-rich-quick scheme, it's a long-term game. Saving, the final piece of our financial puzzle is just as important. Think of it as your financial safety net. It's about being prepared for the unexpected, it's about giving your future self a high five. And remember, saving is not about depriving yourself today. It's about ensuring a better tomorrow. Putting all these pieces together will give you a holistic approach to personal finance management. It's about understanding your money, making conscious decisions, and building a financially secure future. So, ready to give those leprechauns a run for their money? If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs and subscribe to our channel for more personal finance tips.